Hello, Seamus. Hello, Lilo. Ah, my favorite <laughs> co-creator. How are you? Really? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? You know why? Thanks. You know why I love you because you are you are you know you're young. You're from Ireland. Yeah. And you speak it like it is, and you're going for your dream, and it's yeah. very, very inspiring. Oh, thank you so much. I look up to you so much, because I can't believe I'm talking to you right now, even the founder of the, co of the 100 Day Challenge, and I love it. And, you know, I make videos every single day, and I think I could be the youngest person ever to have done the 100 Day I Challenge. I think you I are. Know. Maybe not ever, but right now participating. Yeah, but right now. <laughs> How old are you? 16. 16, yeah. So you are definitely right now. This is wonderful. So how is your experience of the 100 Day Challenge? How did you find oh. it first and, and, and how is it right now? Because you're on your well, season one. I find it actually. I was I had just finished watching The Secret, you know, and I was just sort of into that whole thing. And I, my friends kind of were like, why do you, why are you so into this? You know, because yeah. it's sort of weird. Yeah. Um, I just really love the whole thing and I know it takes a really open mind to get this sort of thing especially at my age yeah. like my friends were just like it's kind of mad but I loved it and so I was just looking up the secret on YouTube and the law of attraction and I stumbled across Megan's videos Jewel Chick yes you know, yes Megan I, from Australia yeah. she's really cool yeah and I fell in love with her just I love her videos so much and um, I just started watching her 100 day challenge and I just thought, well, this is really great, you know, because she, she actually got a TV show out of it. That's when I started watching her. She has her own TV show. So yeah. I was like, wonder what I get out of this whole thing. So I just got really in, into it then. I signed up on co-creatingourreality.com yeah. and, uh, I had already been making videos before this. So I was just sort of, I would love making videos for YouTube. That's my passion and that's what I want to do with my life. So I just started making the videos because, you know, if it helps, if it gets you things that you desire, well, I thought I might as well go for it. So I really just, I'm loving it. Yeah. I really love this and challenge. And it's amazing I to see how uh, more and more confidence you've gained in such a short period of time really? in front of the camera and, and how more creative yeah, I mean, you're allowing yourself to be because it's very creative. I mean, you want to be a filmmaker or something? Yeah, I do want to be, I want to be a movie director or... You know, I'd love to edit these because I love editing my YouTube videos. And, um, yeah, I really uh, can take the camera out in public now and start speaking to it. As you're saying, I started doing videos like walking around with my camera. And I never used to be able to do that. Yeah. But this whole thing, you know, about living your life and just doing what you want to do. just I just, yeah. I don't care any what people think of me. That's and this, awesome. whole, this whole challenge has sort of made me a lot more strong and believe in what I want to believe in and don't let anyone say anything else, you know, that yeah. sort of thing. You're such so, a great leader. I mean, you're, 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 you're doing, you're, you're doing it and you're probably inspiring your friends to start new things. I mean, probably some of them I, are I, sneaking I, in, you know, some kind of law of attraction thing without telling you maybe. Probably, hopefully that's what I hope. So yeah, it's, it's been cool. really, I think, I think it's cool. And you know, I think spirituality is something cool and uh, not, it, it, you know, this is it. This is the stuff to do. I mean, yeah. you're not cool if you're not doing it. Come on. <laughs> I know it's just, it's crazy because like now looking back, I see the law of attraction working my whole life. You know, I look back at times where I was on a lucky streak or bad things happen and I can see the law of attraction working there. And I try to tell my friends, if you look at this, you can actually see it working. But then, of course, they find something like, you know, oh, this didn't come to me when I wanted it or that happened to me. How did that happen? But I try to tell them that it's the law of attraction and it's it's just there as the law of gravity is. It's just yeah. it's, it's as real as that. But of course, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to persuade them. So yeah, this I just not even need it's not even needed they will see the change in you and and that's the best you know that's the best testimony that they, they will want yeah. to have what you have let me tell you this is very <laughs> it's charismatic it's you know it's magnetic yeah. you're going to attract many big things oh yeah and you know i they, i really had a when i discovered the secret you know the book the secret i was just really down with myself like i guess it was just you know 
being a student in school and having exam stress and build up over time. Yeah. But I was really down with myself. I didn't really like myself. I didn't know where I was at that time, but it was just student problems at that age. Yeah. And then I found the secret just out of the blue. Like now I know that it was law of attraction that it came to me to help me, you know. Yeah. But uh, my, I just picked it up and I fell in love with it. And I'm so happy that I had a really open mind yeah. to do this because yeah. oh, I'm not not the best at maths I'm not the best at science but I do have a really open mind for this sort of thing yeah and I just you know and you have so a I'm big really... heart you have a big heart and you're I mean you, you have just you have the qualities you know that what it takes to succeed these days in this time and space it's not so much about the intellect it's about the heart it's about the openness yeah. you are that Oh, thank you. You are. You just are. It's so it's so amazing to see and witness and be part of your journey. Really, really cool. So what's some of your favorite practices, if there is any? Yeah, well, at the start, I, I used, I don't know if you know about this, but segment intentions. Yeah. You know, I learned that from the Abraham Hicks books. That <laughs> yeah can take a little diary and split your day into segments but I don't use that as much now because I can do it without writing it in the book and but uh, that did help me a lot you know just it broke up the day into what I wanted to do but also I still do this and I still sit down for about 15 minutes and put on some really relaxing music and just close my eyes and visualize what I want you know what I want to bring into my life and what I want to have and how it just makes me a lot happier and I feel great and I just feel detached from everything and it's just really relaxing and it's better than I don't know it's better than watching you know videos on YouTube on how to get what you want when you just do it hands-on and meditate I guess it's meditation yeah. is what you would call it yeah uh, I make videos every single day and that really helps me even though Sometimes it can be hard because my internet is sometimes plays up. During the start of my 100 day challenge, I actually had internet problems and I uh, was really struggling with that because I thought, oh no, if I don't get my videos up, I'm going to have to start this whole thing again. Oh, but yeah, then, a lot of people think that, but you continued. Yeah, I did. I can, um, uh, I got back on track then and I make the videos every day just to remind wow. myself what I'm doing here. You know, you're using the law of attraction. You're focusing on your thoughts and you're going to bring more into your life you're going to do great things and you know you're going to keep doing this challenge and it just does remind me of what I'm doing here what my goal is and it's really been great so far but during the start of my 100 day challenge uh, I, I don't know if you've seen this but my uncle died very un unexpectedly yeah. and I just thought, well, how is this happening? What? How could this be happening? You know, by law of attraction, I should be bringing great things into my life. And yeah. um, I started to blame myself. I started to think, have I attracted this? Mm. You know, have I brought this somehow? And I got really down about it. Mm. But I made a video about it, addressing that. You know, have I really attracted this to myself? Is that possible? And of course, you know, Megan, a dual chick came on and said, no, you can't attract that for yourself. You can't do that. You can only attract for yourself. Yeah. So that was really reassuring. And, of course, you know, I've discovered since then, it, no one really dies. Yeah. You just go on physical. And amazing, just, amazing growth. Look at this understanding, yeah. spiritual understanding that you've gained. <laughs> oh, amazing, yeah. amazing. So, so, you, so you, you actually met many more people in the community or, or is it still yeah. Megan or how did that grow? How did that help you also this international? Well, co-creating our reality .com, there's so many people on there that I've met and it's way different over on that website, you know, from YouTube because some of the people that watch yeah. me on YouTube don't understand the law of attraction. They're like, what are you talking about in your videos? But on co-creating our reality .com, everyone is really like-minded and I just feel it, my videos are way more accepted there. I don't know, but people understand what I'm talking about, at least yeah. there. And uh, I found a shop. I don't know if you've seen this in my videos, but I found a place in my local area that is totally about the law of attraction <laughs> and angels. Have you, you know, angel readings yes, and yes. Uh, healings? And I absolutely just couldn't get enough of that place. <laughs> I was in there as much as I could. Talking to the owner, she kept uh, talking about angels and 
the law of attraction and she actually said to me that it's great what you're doing with the 100 day challenge and that I should keep it up and she said that I put a, I tend to put a lot of people up on you know pedestals and say I love this book so much I love this author I love this youtuber and she said you should put yourself on up on the pedestal and yeah. say I love myself because yeah. uh, she also said that someday I'm going to be writing the books yeah. and that, that be like oh I want to go in there way more and get more of this information because it really does interest me and you know my family are a bit like oh why are you talking to people but I completely love this, all of this, and it, it's not, it doesn't seem the slightest bit weird to me. I just love it all. Uh, especially you're such a light worker. Uh, you, you're so awesome. Look at that. I love it. This is so inspiring to... Really? You're just, because you're living your reality. You are living your own truth. You know, this is whatever you want to create, and you're... You're just you're just walking the talk. You're you're doing it, and so there is nothing more inspiring than being ourselves. Everybody should be, yeah. You know, whatever whatever they're called to do, law attraction don't, or don't not, it's okay. Else. Yeah, and yeah. at sixteen, that's huge. That's I so. I can't big. believe. That's I'm so happy and thankful that at this age, you know, yeah. especially. I know a lot of my people my age be like, you don't you can't or not even my age, but. You know, people who understand the law of attraction who are older, maybe, yeah. might say he's too young. He, he, you know, oh, he can't no. get these things. But I just, I can. I mean, yeah, I yeah, love you it. Are, you Even are. though I might not be as advanced as some people, I can think positive thoughts and I can um, attract things. And no, I but love all it. of us, all of us are like that. And I think it's easier when you're younger, actually, because you have less luggages. So, yeah. but the hardest, more... start, the hardest step, I think, at your age is to do it even if your friends are not doing it that's that's the big challenge and you're you, you have faced that challenge and you're just doing it so this is you, you know this well that's is it. why yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why but my friends actually are interested because in i've seen a massive change in me they yeah. said you seem so much happier now because i wasn't as happy before i discovered the secret but before i had i have never even heard of the law of attraction yeah. never heard of the secret never heard of you know using your thoughts but after that, my whole life just changed. Even my mom said, I'm a different person now, you know. Very cool. And it's, it's, I really do appreciate it and love it so much that yeah. this has happened. And you're, you're, know making, you're making this happen. This is where we have to acknowledge ourselves for all this. I mean, you've attracted yeah. all that. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much That's fun. So what are you creating now? I mean, where, where are you at and what's, what's next? We want to hear <laughs> all of it from you. I, you know, a few days ago, I realized that I haven't been thinking the thoughts. I haven't been really focusing on, you know, keeping the feeling in my mind, keeping my vibes up and positive thinking really since my uncle died, I don't think. And that's been about more than a month ago. And I haven't been using the law of attraction. I just stopped and said, open your eyes. This is what the 100 day challenge is all about, right? Yeah. And I just, and now I'm really focusing and now I'm really getting back into the train of thought. And firstly, I just finished my exams just there in school and I'm really looking forward to getting my results <laughs> and I hope they come out as well as I'm expecting. Yeah, uh, cool. I have a little, a little fake results chart up on my wall that is all A's down the board. But, you know, as long even if I don't get all A's, I'll know that, of course, you know, I've been working so hard and focusing on this. So the universe, you, ha you have to give it to me. <laughs> And also, I've been just focusing on getting this 100-day challenge up, you know, doing really well on YouTube and getting more ideas for YouTube videos. Because, of course, you know, I love YouTube videos. And that's what I look up to people like you. I look up to Jewel Chick. And I don't know, Shane Dawson. Have you ever heard of Shane Dawson? He's yeah, like a yeah, master. Yeah. And I look up to him because he's really There's a lot of good ones from the UK on YouTube that are really yeah, like, kicking ass. Yeah. <laughs> and I just I'd love to be uh you know recognized on YouTube I'd love to put my creativity out there and hopefully someday I'll get really I'll get more views and more hits and I'd love that and I'd love to get into the business you know movie making yeah. direct and I don't know I've already started making films with my friends yeah and I 
posted up a trailer. We're making a video, a film right now called Brother Dearest, and it's a lot of fun. Really, is a lot of fun. But right now, I just want to sort of read more books on the law of attraction, especially Michael Lozier's books. After seeing that uh, interview, amazing stuff. I'd love to read those books. Yeah, yeah and, he's very clear on, and very precise yeah. on his explanations. Yeah. Yeah, and I love the don't talk about no's, don't talk about don't. You have to keep positive and you have to keep saying, what do I want? Yeah. And uh, I love that. But I also in the summer, um, I really want to, you know, go and go to learn more about angels. Yeah. Because the woman who owned the angel shop, you know, channeling, you know, like Esther Hicks does yeah. for her books, channels. Well, the owner of the angel shop channels the angels and she paints pictures of people's angels. And it's just over what you wouldn't believe it because she has never done art in her life. And you should see some of these pictures. So I want to do an interview with her in the summer. Uh, I can't and wait to bring over the cameras and the whole TV crew and shoot this from Ireland and you showing us yeah. the shop. That's my that's a vision right there. <laughs> oh, you should definitely. I, I can't wait for that. I really so know. Fun. I know you're definitely going to do well because you're so happy and so upbeat and you're so energetic <laughs> in your videos. I love it. I can't wait for your show, honestly. You have to come over and interview me. Yes, yes, um, yes. You're, you're definitely on that list. Very, very <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for spending the time with us. And I know we'll, we'll hear more from you on, uh, on co-creating our reality on YouTube yeah, and yeah. all of that. If you have Thanks. a last little thing to say to people, that are either taking it on or some advice or what, what would you say? Well, if, you're, if you haven't started the 100 day challenge, if you don't know what the law of attraction is, get all those books, <laughs> get it, buy the books, re watch Lilu's videos, They're, just do it because it is worthwhile and you will come out of it a different person. You're, you just get so much happier and you learn a lot about spiritual spirituality. And, and we're having fun. Yeah, have so much fun and just look on the bright side of everything. And just thank you so much, Lilu, for taking the time out of and to talk to me because it means a lot to me. And I've really enjoyed this. And then I just um, I'm gonna keep making videos, keep doing my hundred day challenge, and manifest. Keep bringing in yeah, things. Yeah, bringing in, baby. Okay, cool, awesome. You rock. You really rock. Thank uh, you so much, and I'll see you soon. Yes, see. You